in order to be good at hearthstone sometimes you've got to be a cocky gamer I don't know what it is with me and not liking the most popular lists in the meta, but for some reason, the Mining Concoction Rogue is by far the most popular version of the archetype. And it's mostly, I think, thanks to Vicious Syndicate for pushing a very specific version of the deck. But before we talk about the deck in general, I just want to paint a picture about how much Excavation Rogue is a problem at top legend. Because it's a deck that you need to play before it gets nerfed, and it is confirmed that Belarok is going to be nerfed. If you guys haven't checked out the previous video talking about that, then I would highly recommend checking it out. But at all rates, Ranks, Excavation Rogue is about 9.5% of the meta at every single rank in the game. But if you start breaking down the ranks of the top legend, D1 to D4 has 7% Excavation Rogue. You get to legend, that number jumps up to 14%. But when you go to top 1000 legend, where the players are trying to play the best deck with the most consistency, it becomes 30% of the meta this deck is nuts this deck is absolutely nuts but that's not the question that's on everybody's mind the question is what is the best version of the deck and according to vicious syndicate the, the best version according to them is the version of the deck that plays concoctions if you go to excavate rogue they're going to have concoctions ready to go with the ghoulish alchemist the potion belt as well as the potion master putricide that do find their way into this deck as a five card package and for some reason i don't know how to properly guide this deck I don't know if I just get, you know, sidetracked by the cool, awesome discovers that you can get from this deck. So I just think the potions are bad. I, for some reason, can't get concoctions to work for me personally. And it's very frustrating because I know the deck is good because every single time I look at the stats, concoctions are actually on top of all of the decks for Rogue in particular. And if you look at the most popular versions of the deck at top 1000, you have Treant Druid still represent the most amount of data since the patch has gone live. But the second most popular deck is is the mining rogue with the concoction packages and in to sell the deck even more it's got the highest win rate according to all of the uh the archetypes from mining rogue at top 1000 legend this deck has got concoctions the deck underneath it does not seem to have concoctions but we will look directly underneath at the most popular uh, the second mo or i'm sorry the third most popular deck you have another concoction list and this deck has about two three percent on top of the other deck that i was just suggesting earlier but for some reason i i don't seem to be able to navigate the concoctions well enough in order to have that good balance of having the removal having the random generation as well as the card draw and damage that concoctions can generate and i don't want to necessarily say that concoctions are quote unquote bad but my win rate with it just does not meet up to par with other people's win rates and i believe this is the deck that jay alexander is playing this is the deck that vicious syndicate has been suggesting if you want to get the most amount of wins with mining rogue so let's go ahead and talk about this specific version of the deck and why some cards make their way out of the list in order to make concoctions more powerful so one thing to immediately note about this deck in particular is the is the curve of the deck actually more than you know 80 percent of the deck is essentially cards that are two mana or less you always want to be doing something in the early game in order to establish board as well as using cards that give you a lot of value such as your alchemist in order to cheat out the potion belt this is very standard rogue stuff right here but the reason why why concoctions i believe are becoming very powerful is because concoction rogue in particular doesn't have a lot of ways of being able to deal with gigantic minions as effectively so the destruction concoction is actually very important in a lot of matchups in order to get that removal that sometimes the deck just doesn't have like you do have bone you do have random outs with stick up and flint but the biggest issue with this deck is that if you play a very large minion it's hard to, to not just throw all your resources at killing that minion especially if it is threatening you so the the potion belts and the concoctions do have a you know a way of making this deck a little bit more synergistic it's just with my experience in particular i cannot seem to get this deck to work maybe i'm just unlucky maybe i'm making the wrong decisions and if you do like decisions and this is probably the deck that has the most amount of ideas that you can weigh but you gotta pick that perfect idea but my biggest issue with the concoctions in this deck in particular especially if you play your potion master putricide this deck can sometimes just become too clunky for your scorpion to make any kind of real effect so unfortunately i want to say that the other version of the deck is easier because there are less 
options that you have to consider and there's also less low rolling that is possible because there's nothing worse than not rolling the destruction concoction when you when you absolutely need it but the other thing that the, de the deck does have going for it is the fact that you do have these zero mana synergies with this with the ghoulish alchemist so like if you start you know your turn two by playing this play potion belt and get two three drops immediately that, that's just going to punish a lot of decks that are that are popular right now the biggest thing that you have to worry about is whether or not this deck is good into treant druid and that would make the argument that concoctions are actually not the way to go against treant druid unless you specifically get those three drops and you have this gigantic board before your opponent does but the deck is still the same you still have like the same cards in the mulligan the same cards that you want to find at the beginning of the game the velarot the scourge illusionist to shatter shambler but one other thing to keep in mind is that ghoulish alchemist is actually a very good card to not only keep in the mulligan but the play by turn two because it is just a three mana three two this is just one of those decks to where you want to play minions you want to get stuff onto the field so that way you are constantly pressuring damage to where your concoctions can be whatever you need whenever you need them if that makes any sense like if you need destruction you have it but if you need the deal you know six that this card can generate from time to time and then you have shadow demise ready to go that is just 12 damage ready to go depending on how you use your alchemist you can easily make that like three mana at the very most so i really don't know what i'm really trying to say with this video outside the fact that this is just one of those archetypes that you need to try and see which one you like better me personally i'm not a big fan of concoctions but every single player that is like a rogue main or the or a data website or someone who is trying to talk about how good mining row actually is all of these players are saying that potion belts are the way to go i seem to be the only person that disagrees with this at top legend but data really can't lie right like data shows the 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 ceilings of the deck but you gotta know exactly how to play it in order to have you know the results that you are looking for but as you can clearly see velarok and scourge illusionists are the biggest power outliers of the deck as long as you go for those cards you are most likely going to be in a very favorable winning situation and don't forget if you do enjoy this kind of content feel free to like this video and subscribe to the youtube channel to be notified about any of our future updates we've also got a patreon in case you guys want to get extra perks and bonuses for supporting the content to where you can get deck optimizations coaching as well as shout out in future videos but thank you so much for making it to the end of this deck intro and we'll see you for the next video all right we'll pick the the potion belt eu too laggy that actually might be the reason why time zones why does time zone matter time zone doesn't matter the reason time zone doesn't matter is because you can play on any server it doesn't matter the time zone they would almost exclusively play against themselves not exactly not not a hundred percent draw or random card it's probably gonna be draw because i need as much damage as i can muster here and we got prep bone into this on the same turn play this for one draw two cards summon a three drop oh boy why is he coining that what is the purpose of coining this not quite sure Do you think they'll nerf Velarok? It's Gallon has pretty much said that they're nerfing Velarok, so yes, it will get nerfed. Should it get nerfed? Absolutely. These are all really bad. I guess the random dragon is the worst out of this pile of crap. It's also a one mana card, so it helps with Velarok. If I get lucky enough and top deck him. I probably gotta go for stick up next turn. Because if I can get that deal too, this game is probably over. Alright, AOE me, dude. Probably gonna regret this, but I like the idea of trying to like build up a board as well. This is kind of interesting, but I don't have nearly enough, uh, hmm. Two more effects for five mana? That doesn't really seem worth it. All right, don't cultivate me, dude. Don't do it. But yeah, uh, a Hearthstone designer said on stream that they will change something about Velarok. Whether it is making it four mana, 
or making him discount less uh, uh, when he attacks. Okay, now uh, now I just can't win. AOE me, dude. Really? Double sneak? I have no- I have no choice. I- I need the heat wave. Trees OP? Yep. Yeah, this is the real noob druid. People that say that dragon druid is the noob druid, have you ever played a tree ant deck? And do you ever wish you had a random defile? Because, oh boy, I would win the game automatically if I had that card. Alright, come on, Flint. I believe in you. I'm not being facetious. I believe in you, buddy. Come on. I need some heat waves. Don't you dare give me that dragon again. Yes! Okay, come on. Do it again. Now do it again. Now do it again! Okay, good enough. Good good enough. You, you did your job. You did your job. Okay, good, good, good job. Good job. Way, way to go, Flint. I told you I believed in you. This is what this is what you need, man. You, you just need to give your cards a little bit of a, of a kick, you know? Just be like, you, you got this, buddy. I believe in you. That's illegal, sir. Reported. Watch me still find a way to lose this game. Like, we're, we're not out of the... We're not out of the woods yet. I do get three threes. I get three threes, another rusher, and also a five five with taunt. So that's massive going into next turn. But sometimes you just gotta believe in your cards. Wait a minute. No! Oh my god, no! No way, dude! I've never seen something so crazy! Oh my. That's an AoE. I actually do need to get rid of this. All right, cool. We actually have a shot. Heat wave is just so necessary to win this matchup, man. Yeah, I know, right? The uh, the quick fades are actually really good. Like, I need to deal with them. I can't just let them survive. All right, looks like I'm overtaking the game here. Why 2024 isn't our year? Because I didn't start playing right at reset, Norwis. That's why. I, I, I told my chat that I'd start playing as soon as the uh, the season resets in order to have the best chance of getting uh, world qualification. But I've already fucked that up. So therefore, this season's already wasted, which means this whole year is wasted. So I gotta, I gotta get better at the game. I gotta get better. All right, give me destruction so that way I can play ghoulish. It did not give me destruction, so I guess I gotta go with this now. God, yes! Woo! Also, you wanna know another reason why 2024 is in our year? Because I'm I'm awful at road mirrors. Because I'm terribly unlucky. I don't mind the idea of doing day one legend grinds though. It's just a fun way of, you know, making sure that I can humble the other uh the other streamers and the other uh, gamers out there. Knowing that Clark Hellscream is always on the cusp of victory. But this is why I can't be competitive, because they're gonna always draw the jelly. So back to the bottom with you. The fuck out of here. Now get on up out of here, you you ungrateful little shit. So when is the esports announcement? Why couldn't they submit it today? Great question. I don't even know why they teased it. What was even the point of teasing it if they're not gonna announce it soon? I guess so that way we don't keep asking for it, but we're still asking for it. At least I am, at least. Give me my Hawstone. Norwes, I found a streamer more salty than you. He's called Clark. Oh, dude, this is not usually how I react to things. Also, the second time a gamer has been punished for dirt. Stop dirty ratting on turn two. I'm trying to help you people. 
Why are we dirty riding on turn two in the warlock with no answers? Like why? It's so stupid. <laughs> oh my god! Why are these gamers? <laughs> oh my god! I can't believe it, dude. Thanks for the free win, you dumb warlock. Even if you play Defile, I still have 10 damage going into next turn. Or that. I still have 10 damage, by the way. If I draw a... Uh, not that, but if I... Well, actually, I could get a, a lethal from that. Uh, I think I'll do this first, just in case I need to find it from Demise again. Uh, I guess Record Scratcher. And I'll just keep this in hand in case he is stupid enough to play Viper. Add this to your Dirty Rat PSA video? I could. Very easily could. This guy literally lost the game the moment that he that he uh that he played the Dirty Rat. Okay, but where do they tease it? There's a tweet somewhere, but someone on the Hearthstone team said that there's going to be an announcement for esports. They just have some other things that they have, uh, like they have some other potential things they need to organize and sort out before announcing it. Which means they're probably in like the final stages of drafting the next year. We know this to be a fact because someone tweeted it on the Hearthstone team. In fact, I could find it. Hold on a minute. It might take me a minute to find it though. Oh, hey, look at that. I'm so skilled. All right, stop playing dirty out on turn two. I swear to God, if, if if any if anyone in my chat, if anyone in my chat plays dirty out on two and we find out who you are, we're shaming you. All right, and we're doing it out of love. Okay, so that way you don't do that again. Just. Don't. Do not play Dirty Rat on 2 unless you are a control priest that has a way of dealing with what comes out. And even then, you need coin and specifically the light it burns. Just don't play Dirty Rat on 2. I will find you and I will shame you. Alright, so we'll just get rid of the bones. They're just waiting on the details of how much gore they can show. What? <laughs> They are butting on the details of how much butt they can show. Just show all the butt. All right. I I'm an ass man. I, I would be very happy if I could see the whole butt and nothing but the butt. Justice for Evison? Who the hell is that? Who is Evis? Justice for Evis? Oh, there we go. And look at this turn that I can make too. Disgusting! Yoink. Is it worth prepping that? I think it actually is. It's the holiday break. Nothing will be announced before the end of the year. Damn it. Oh, I wish I saw that. Otherwise, I wouldn't have made that, that tweet. I just really hope it won't be like last year uh, by the end of January when January matters. Yeah, they, they better announce things in the first week or two. And if they don't, then... It's just literally killing, like, like people literally won't compete because of it. They literally won't compete if if we don't know that the la that the season matters. So it's like there's a certain point where you know waiting is the play because you have to wait until you get everything ironed out. But you can't wait too long because every single day that you wait, it's like you're you're like like some people are gonna just not not do this month until something is confirmed. Wait, he liked your response. Let, let's let's just really hope that they're able to communicate it. The problem is when the tent companies all have uh, everyone on leave. What you mean, like right now, how everyone in the gaming world is technically on vacation right now? The other mention to please post January second, etc. If it actually comes out tomorrow, dude, that that's based. That'd be omega based if they could go. Oh, that is a beast. Oh, bro, that is a beast. And you know what I can do? I get some very good value from this. Oh, now we're using our noggins. 
Okay, that's kind of unfortunate. Um... Get that tempo. Through that tempo. Oh my god, this was disgusting. This this was so grody, dude. This was just so grody, my god. All that value. 48 more wins for Golden Rogue. Just play Velorock 48 more times. And there you go, you got it. That's his turn. Wow. That's that <laughs> It's amazing how one-sided these matchups can be. It's impossible to hurt people during the holiday time. Everyone's on PTO. Well, that's why you have to have goals. So that way you complete that stuff before you go on break. And that's exactly why everyone in the gaming industry is overtimed and overworked. Because there's, there's so much content to push out, but never enough time to get it all, like, ironed out. That's the one thing that really sucks about being a game designer. Is how much content you have to shell out. Okay, what's going on? My HP is at 15. This is scary. So I've got 12, just need to deal 10. Got Velorock. It's just probably always this to make the Velorock uh, release next turn. Lightbinder's gift to discount is actually kind of huge. Two mana king actions? Sure. Oh, I should have done this first. Whoops. Probably missed a discount on the spell, didn't I? Yup, that would have been insane. That would have been nuts. At the same time, I have nine damage burst in my hand right now. And that will be lethal if this board survives or if he trades into the damage. Yeah, order order Lul. This is this is the time where you can make fun of the streamer. That is definitely an order Lul moment. But we're always playing Velorock next turn. Order butt moment. <laughs> NA players, man. Bur that was such a burger server play, dude. It looks like we're winning this game. Crazy little thing called love. Only, way only turn that matters is like prep into uh, the breakdance. There we go. Literally wasn't even close. Literally wasn't even close. And I even got more damage. I had five more damage, potentially even more off of the Discover. God, this card is just so stupidly good. Wait, we're already in Diamond? Oh, I didn't even realize. Oh no. With this song playing in the background, what's the odds of us getting the Drilly every time? All right, thank the, thank the Lord. Oy, oy, oy. I mean, all things considered, this grind is actually happening very quickly alright it might be a little risky cause he can play um he can play the wig if he's got it or that that also kinda works he's gotta be strong and he's gotta be fast and he's gotta be fresh from the fight I need a hero here we go I don't know how anybody could be sad while listening to this song. The song is fantastic. Larger than life. Firebat was the first and only world champion from NA. No way. No way. Fuck, you're right. Oh my god, have we really been that washed for this long? Oh, for fuck's sake, dude. Literally getting punished for not killing this on turn one. Something something decisions actually did matter this game, but it's still bullshit. Okay, deal three. Actually, no, it's just always destruction. Double destruction, let's go. Did I deserve it? No. Did I get it? Of course. I got my hero. But the question is, can I keep this up? He's gotta be strong, and he's gotta be fast, and he's gotta be larger than life. Oh, yo. Look at that. Look at how this is working out, chat. I said I need a hero, and the heroes have shown themselves. 
Can you just concede so I can get rank five? Please. Please, you're you're a Naga priest. You can't get the board back. It's it's just gone. Your window is missed, my friend. I'm sorry. Next game, right? I even gave you a chance by not killing that minion on turn two. Pick me, pick me. I was so kind. I was just so kind. I've got a huge swing in tempo next turn, though. Wait, six HP? Oh, that's the uh, the the drifter. Okay. Yeah, there it is. Okay, he actually went larger than I thought he'd go. This man is very large now. Hmm. I don't think it's older. I don't think it's ogre fist into glyph anymore. It leaves up five HP. I don't know what to do here. Actually, this was such an effective turn. Like if he didn't have this other taunt, we would be fine. I think this is just one of those situations where I need to go for max tempo, just ignore my opponent. I hate this idea, though. The reason I really didn't want to do this play is because the future side is filling up my hand, and now I can't really go with the scorpion. Like I, I need my future song to be. Uh, I need my future side to be gone. Like it was necessary earlier. I have destroy a minion, summon a minion. Yeah, the value actually is over. This, this is exactly why I didn't like the idea of concoctions in this deck. It's because I felt like more often than not, these are like this is more common than um than the concoctions getting value. But it turns out it's actually the other way around. This doesn't happen nearly as consistently as you would think, and that's why the concoctions seem to be okay. Yo, Cal, uh, Calner, good to have you here, man. It's like Kyle and Connor combined. Good to have you here, man. Welcome, welcome. Okay, no Pelagos. So that makes me happy. Everyone Ooh. I think we're gonna be fine. It looks like we're probably gonna be okay. Oh, boy. So I can kill everything but one minion. I could technically play Scorpion. It's very important that I win this game. I think we start with the destruction. Because there's only really like two bad targets. The three the 310 would be the best target, I think. So many I could also just deal three to this to make sure that it doesn't get destroyed. Sure. Fantastic three drop, by the way. This game is getting weird. He's got one wig left. This next card needs to be it. I mean, I guess I guess the totem can be turned into a six seven, but still. So he's got a wig. Does it come back? It does come back. If he has Pelagos, he can summon another another eight eight. And it's a little bit difficult for me to deal with that, but doable. I th I think this game's in the bag. I think this game is almost in the bag. Also, I can finally fill up my water, as I completely forgot, like, for 45 minutes. Yeah, let me- let me just get some- let me- let me get some seal! Who gets that reference? Let me get some seal! Oh, I love to see that. I actually love to see that. I absolutely love to see that. Our gift of the arcane enlightens us. Fantastic. Yup. Out of here, man. This is why I hate Naga Priest. There are just so many unwinnable games if, if your opponent has any good cards. 